All right. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and I am currently getting set up to do the first wash with the spool. And uh, just getting everything set up here. Let's see. Starting off the morning with our very nice Continental 24 It's not that the name brand matters. Um, I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. But um, it's a nice hose. I mean, 20 feet long, you can't go wrong, right? Yeah, I think we're good there. That seems to be all nice and tight. So we'll leave it like this for now. And we'll go ahead and get our buckets filled. It's going to be the next step here. I hope you all are having a good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And uh, well, if you're watching this at night, well, then I hope your night is going well. Double D is currently somewhere around here doing his thing. So just let him do his thing and he'll. Uh, He'll be around shortly, but I'm, 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 I'm tempted to try to use the auto track mode, but I kind of feel like either one, I might move around a little too fast. Um, I am on a time crunch this morning. <clears throat> so I do kind of have to move a little bit quicker, which if you ask me, I don't necessarily like, but that's what's going on right now. Let's clean the hose up a little bit here so that way I can just put it in there and then we can turn the water on. All right. Morning. Yeah, yeah, a little head start, set up, set up process, yeah, yeah, quick project. So we got quite a bit going on here this morning. I am obviously going to be trying to clean up the spool as fast as I can, but as properly as I can as well. And then, uh, Double D's working on the S2000. Putting in that action. I'll say this hose. Honestly, uh, Puts out more water than the uh, than the green one. It is thicker, so. Oh, it puts out more water than the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> we'll move in here quick today. Uh, let's see. Okay. God bless. Just show you real quick how easy it is. You've got your end of the hose here. Gun. That's it. First things first is you want to get all of the air out of the system. Typically, you'll do this for about a minute. I'm 
sure the mic's picking it up, but you can kind of hear it. All right, so as I'm in here in front of y'all, we need more. We need a lot more, but uh, we're using Coach Kimmy uh, GSF. And uh, last video you guys watched of the maintenance detail of the S2000, uh, we used the MTM foam cannon. I'm going to be using the big boy foam cannon with this pressure washer setup, and uh, we'll see if there's a difference. So I'm going to pour in 150 milliliters of GSF. That should be enough. And, uh, D, we need another bottle. I almost want to say it's worth just getting a five-gallon. But, uh, anyways, yeah, we need another bottle. And I actually need to use this for the IK sprayer for the wheels. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and turn this guy on. <laughs> I uh, should not have any leaks anywhere. Uh, in theory, I should be good. Oh yeah, that actually is working better than last time. Interestingly enough, I have to keep an eye out on that. Everything uh, was to totally normal uh, before, but um, Oh, where the hell was I going with that? Um, anyways, there was, uh... uh... By the way, I'm just grabbing the water from our rinse bucket. And then, uh, let's see. Holy shit, man, I fucking eyeballed the hell out of that. Right on the thousand milliliter line here. Go ahead and give it a little spin here. If the 150 milliliters of GSF doesn't do the trick, you can always add more. But uh, get that properly set up. What the one thing I do like about the the big boy is you get to see everything inside the bottle towards the MTM. You don't, but that's not that's not the it's not a deal breaker. Um, but all right, now we'll get the IK. I really like this guy. And the rest of this, honestly, might end up in here. <laughs> um, yeah, the rest of it's gonna end up in here. That's not a lot at all. I'm gonna try to get every... That's not a lot at all. All right, well, if that was a waste, then we'll throw it in. We'll throw it in a wash bucket or something. Well, we're officially out of that. That's nice. I'm actually, I'm being very uh, picky here. Um, but, okay, so first bottle done with ever. And yeah, I want more. This is, uh, this is a really nice product. Does a fantastic job. I definitely do highly recommend. Okay, so, yeah, that, <laughs> all right, I'm looking at this if it's a, if it's a joke, it's like, what are you going to do with this? Maybe uh, we just don't throw as much water. Let's try that. Maybe we don't put as much water in here. I don't need the whole, I don't need the whole bottle filled anyways, so I think we're like right above the halfway mark, which uh, 
we'll test. We'll see. I mean, we're we're still testing, obviously. I think the testing phase for the GSF is over. And uh, uh, yeah, I think we like it. I like it. I mean, I I love it, honestly. I think it performs exactly as you'd want it to. Fucking hairs, man. Working directly under a tree here. I might move the buckets over there. Yeah, I'm gonna move the buckets over there. I'll move everything over there. I'll move this guy. I'll move the actual foam cannon. And then we'll move uh, the rents and the wheels. Ugh. I'm gonna be starting over here anyways, so I will reposition y'all to where you can get a better view of what's happening here. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. Doing, get out of here. Doing one wheel at a time. Let's see how our mixture came out here. Ah, not bad. Uh, a little watery. Not super watery though, it's okay. Bring my wash bucket around here. I skipped a step already. Nice. It's okay. Screw it. We'll be okay. Um, caliper. Always in the way. Um, I didn't really get a, uh, a before shot here of the spool on how dirty it was. Um, well, I guess maybe. I mean, you kind of saw it earlier a little bit, but I'm sure on camera it looked totally fine, completely clean, maybe a spot or two. But, uh, yeah, no, it, it, it was dirty. It was very dirty. Very, very dirty. Not a fan of having to do that. Um, okay. Wiggle brush here. Nice, soft bristles. This is a different brush. A lot more softer. Um, had a conversation last night with a good friend of ours. Um, and yeah, he was telling us that uh, the brush that we were using is not soft enough, basically, and it could cause scratches. Um, and he recommended a brush like this one. Um, so, obviously there's a bunch of suds on here, but I'm sure uh, you remember the other one was red, this one's pink. This one is definitely a lot softer. Um, less, I would say, less prone to scratches. So, I don't wanna try to spend too much time here. And of course, I uh, forgot to magic wheel clean these, so I don't necessarily see a point in trying to do that now with uh, with this. I mean, you can just physically see how dirty these wheels were, but yeah, 
let's finish this off with some uh, some retire because uh, it definitely needs it. I want to let that sit for a second as I am supposed to. Appreciate y'all uh, tuning in here. Hope y'all are doing well. I, I appreciate all of the support from the last video. Um, to all of uh, the new couple of subscribers, thank you. It's very much appreciated. It's what helps motivate me to continue to do videos like this. And uh, yeah, continue to grow, to continue to learn, get better at doing this stuff, man. It's fun. I love it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic boot cleaner. I technically skipped this process because the wheel is already clean, but um, this is something that you just let sit on there. Technically, we've been brushing it, and that's not that that's bad. You can brush it, but uh, from what I've been seeing. Looks like uh, you just let it sit on there for a little while. But I'm going to move you to our next wheel here. Hopefully I stay in frame. That is, of course, the goal here. Staying in frame. Doing it at the top of the morning, very good idea. Uh, considering you don't want um, the sun to, to dry up everything. Start by rinsing this wheel off. Let's do it right this time, or I guess right in my mind. If I'm not doing it right, and you are more than welcome to criticize and let me know in the comments below. Uh -uh. Yeah, so we're gonna let that you know sit for a second, take its uh, take its course. This is um, let's see. Allow two to five minutes for Magic Wheel Cleaner to take effect on the rim and then rinse thoroughly using high pressure spray. It's two to five minutes. Man, they, they really want that on there. So technically, I guess on that first wheel, I went too fast. Maybe, uh, maybe I hit the other two wheels real quick, spray some on there and then uh, do this wheel, clean it up, whatnot, and then uh, get to the other two wheels. I'm gonna do that, see how that works out. I know it's got uh, iron decontaminants um, in there. Um, so it's, you know, pulling all the iron off of the wheels. Um, at least I believe that's how that works. You can, once again, criticize me all you want. I'm here to learn, I'm here to grow, and I'm here to, um, you know, try to do better each and every video, right? So, 
I have no issue testing on my own car. And uh, yeah, I mean, there, there, there's a bunch of things wrong with this car. Um, I think I've ultimately kind of come down to the fact that I want to get this car uh, painted a different color. And let me tell you right now, I am nowhere near uh, being able to get a job like that done. So it'll be a while, but in the meantime, um, try to keep it as presentable as possible, try to keep it as clean as possible, and uh, kind of just go from there. But I'd set a timer, but I'm using you guys as a, as a uh, recording, so can't really do a timer. I'm just, I guess, kind of just counting down the seconds in my head. But I was going to say, uh, in the last video, um, what I noticed was there were uh, a lot of water droplets coming out of the orifice here. Uh, and this time it's not. Now, I don't know if it's because I might actually be using the other orifice. <clears throat> we have two orifices. Technically, we have three, but uh, we have two nozzles, should I say. And... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the one thing that I noticed last video was that uh, there were no surgings, no, no necessarily leaks anywhere, but um, every time you spray, you would see water coming out of, uh, from the nozzle. Now, if I spray this, I'm not seeing any water droplets. So let's switch, let's switch the nozzles here. See, there's a difference. Yeah. You can see the water droplets. So, I've actually been using the wrong nozzle this whole time. That's pretty funny. I thought this was the, the 5.0, but that's the 5.0. Uh, this one uh, is hitting with more pressure. That one will hit with less pressure and more water. That is what I want for this wash. I am glad that I caught that now rather than later. Not that that nozzle is bad. Um, I would say that nozzle is really good for really trying to get dirt, grime, debris, um, all that stuff off. So I think this has sat long enough. I'm kind of looking at it, and as I'm looking at it here, um, yeah, you know, I'm not really seeing much of a, of a difference be honest with you they're black and silver wheels so it'd be kind of hard to notice on the black but um, ideally you should be looking at uh, a lot of purple uh, which is uh, decontaminants getting pulled off from the wheel and uh, I'm not seeing much of that so either one my wheels weren't that dirty or contaminated um, or two it still needs to sit longer but I don't have all the time in the world, so I'm going to wash this off, hit it with the IK, and uh, continue on. Yeah, I really do like this. Uh, this orifice a lot, a lot better. Wider fan. And, uh, you know, just more flow. Can't say it enough. For those of you who think that you need all the pressure in the world, you don't. I've learned that through multiple detailers. I've learned it through watching plenty of detailing videos. Um, I will say one of my favorite uh, detailers um, to watch is, uh, and hopefully I'm saying this right, but uh, Vermeil uh, Car Detail. Um, I believe he's based out of Australia, 
but um, his videos are just very relaxing to watch for one um, I really like the way that uh, his content is made Got a loud ass Jeep on the way oh damn that's like straight war style That's, that's funny. That's funny. It's super cool. Super cool. Um, but yeah, Vermeil. That fucking blows. We'll clean that off. You get to see it all. You get to see me. Jack around, mess up, all of the above. And uh, yeah, have a good time. <laughs> but you notice how I dropped it and uh, I don't need to explain myself, but I guess what I was trying to go, where, where I was trying to go with that is if you drop something on the ground, also your brush or your mitt, um, you know, spray it down, clean it up. I think with I think with the mitt you might not be able to really save it, <laughs> but with the brush it's small enough to where you you can save it. Well, I'm telling you, bro, missing out on that wash last week killed me. Spritz off. Absolutely. I think it did a great job. We got perfect weather this Sunday. It's a little cloudy, nice and cool. Makes for optimal uh, use of the products. Yeah. Giving the opportunity, giving the products the opportunity to do exactly what they need to do without worrying about them drying up on the surface here. And then I get to turn around and enjoy the rain tomorrow. Oh, it's raining? You can fact check me on that, but I believe it is. Hey, you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, family and friends, members of the jury, <laughs> we are going to take a look at the weather live on the set. Let's see. It's fall time. Expect the unexpected. Looks like we've got, yep, 95% chance of rain on Monday <laughs> and no rain for the next two weeks, 10 days at least. So tomorrow is the only rain day, unfortunately. Which is fine. Um, you know. At least we're handling I a nice just, maintenance I, I, wash. I really <laughs> did not want to skip out no. on cleaning. Um, the rear end of the vehicle is absolutely filthy. Um, it's disgusting to look at. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely hate it. Ever since um, one of our good friends had made a comment, and it's like mine next. And um, anyways, he's a he's a really big inspiration as to kind of why I got into it and why I started doing it. And I kind of tried to tell him and explain him that I didn't understand um, the joy you get out of detailing your car, and I didn't learn that until I realized that I was spending seven to eight hours on the weekends back out in Austin um, just sitting there and trying to uh, make it look as good as possible. as possible and then uh, relocate over here. Uh, however 
much soap I put in that. Not too bad. I'd say it was actually just about right. Maybe a little runny, but not bad. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot going on this morning. It's pretty quiet other than, you see that army truck? No. Drive by, dude. It I just not. sounded insane. Hopefully this brush. So far, it does look like it's doing a better job um, than the other one, at least uh, for scratch resistance. Or prone to scratch. Just trying to get every spot here. I think we're good right there. And then we'll finish it off with a retire. And then we'll rinse the whole car. Foam cannon. Two bucket method. Rinse. And dry. And uh, I'm we'll letting the retire done. sit, by the way, guys. Um, you wanted to let it sit for a little bit uh, just to um, kind of formulate. You see the color change here. That's Give what it some you're, time to work. That's what you're looking for. And once I see that, and I see that it's not really doing anything else, then I come at it with the brush, and I go to town. Two weeks. This is what uh, this is what it'll do. Dirty. I'm going to. Relocate this as I no longer really need it. As well as the IK. I think I'm just gonna call it IK for short from here on out. Make it make life easier, not harder. All right, it's time to rinse the whole vehicle or clean everything off. Nine day difference here on um, get out of here leaves on using this. Set up here, pressure washer with the gun and everything. Huge difference. I can get more up close and personal with the paint, which I like. time to see what 150 milliliters of GSF and the remaining to a thousand water produces this part there we go horizontal fan I prefer vertical Let's see what this can do.
Getting the full use out of this uh, bottle, by the way. That's why I'm going extra on it. So obviously, a little runny, but um, that's not necessarily a foam can. That's the mixture between GSF and uh, GSF and water. That's the word I'm looking for. Might as well just clean the glass with the same side. Same thing here. I'm just trying to get the first top half and then uh, work my way from there. Nothing crazy. Flip to the other side. We'll get kind of the uh, first section here, including the windows, the glass. Yeah, let's rinse it out. Crazy how much that shows a difference. And let's do the fender all the way down, side marker, and flop, the hood. Let's try to do a pickup motion here. Grab, throw off, grab, throw off. I'm trying to get better here. Some bug and tar remover. Bug remover, I guess. Just that. Didn't do very well on that. I was able to get it off, but not in the way I would have liked. Not bad. Not bad at all. Back in the rinse bucket. Let's go wash. Let's go get the side here. Let's get the door. Beep, beep. Uh, uh, I thoroughly enjoy this. <laughs> in all honesty, I do love it. Very fun, very therapeutic for me, I would say. Just have a good time with it. I enjoy it very much. I got a lot going on. Absolutely no reason to share what's going on with me. Because y'all don't need to hear about that. Just know, if you're, if you're yourself going through quite a bit and you need an outlet to relax and you've never tried detailing, or at least just, you know, cleaning your own car, knock yourself out. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you don't, well, it's not for you. Totally fine. Never said it was for everybody. Just a suggestion. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I think I pretty much got everything here. Let's go do the top half here. On the other side. 
the glass. Where to go with the entire hood? Flop. Finishes up. Okay. Now we can eat glass. I will say, uh, having wind deflectors, very nice. We'd love to see it. The car's cleaning up real nicely. Getting all up in the cracks and crevices with the water here, making sure that we get all of these suds out. In my personal opinion, I'd say this is probably the hardest part. Maybe drying. Maybe I'll give it to drying. But if you didn't do a good job rinsing it off, then this shit just keeps appearing infinitely. We don't want to let any of these soaps dry up on the surface. So Caleb's doing a great job here at taking his time around the entire car making sure that we get everything out. <coughs> may not be able to see it, but Caleb's coming here off camera, off to the side, getting the inside of the gas cap. That's one of the most overlooked spots. Nobody takes the time to clean under the gas cap, so. Seemingly nobody. There's a select few that hit that gas cap. <laughs> and if you're one of those select few, we appreciate you. You guys obviously can't see, but basically, there's no beat action here on the trunk. Not a fan of that at all. Clearly remember hitting it, but uh... Hello. Hello? Yeah, the camera's way over there. Oh. Yeah, we're addressing the back side of the vehicle here. We're reapplying some Hydro 2 by the looks of it. Give it back some of that Hydro Fabicity. Let's come back here and take a look at that man's pool. That's what I was looking for. Uh, you kind of missed it, but instant difference um, as I hit with water. Just beads right up um, before all of that water was just sticking and I did not like it. Give so another spritz. With this or with... Yeah, there we go. So that way, when the rain comes around tomorrow, hopefully, and ideally, it'll just... Beats right off. Yeah, exactly. 
The rear bumper seems to be doing a pretty good job. I don't need to re-hit that. I'm just kind of being picky at this point. But uh, you're allowed to be picky. Yeah, the whole car is kind of beat it up very nicely. All right, time for the ease of drying. Before the sun starts hitting, the sun is ready. So am I. You mother, <laughs> get off. Downside to working under a tree. But we make it work. Space to work is better than none. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Just lay it flat, drag the towel. Let the towel do magic. all the work. Except on areas where you're going to be picking up shit from a tree. Come around, just hit the other side. Do not go hard with your microfibers. You don't need to. It's not necessary. Yeah, this towel does an excellent job. Unless you're just using everything it needs to. <laughs> even the mic, uh, even even the microfibers, even the Walmart microfibers aren't that bad. I used to use them all the time for detailing my car back when I was living out in Austin, and I basically applied the chemical to the pad, and I applied it to the vehicle for a nice slick action. That's exactly what it gave me. Now, I didn't know crap about conserving microfibers by washing them with microfiber detergent. And uh, lo and behold, here we are now. Times have changed. It is all a process. Safe to say for the learning. Better. Thoroughly enjoy this. Yeah, this new generation, Caleb, that we're experiencing is on a different level. Last generation needed some updates. <laughs> huh. As far as the detailing process went. But uh, I can say the same. Our younger version of ourselves. <laughs> the old me. Maybe that's what I should have wrote. Huh? Maybe that's what I should have wrote. I had to do that first uh, assignment yesterday for English. For those of you that don't know, I'm in school again. But this time it's to actually do something better with my life. <laughs> um, it's a good way to look at it. Yeah. But anyways, as I was mentioning, I've got a... Uh, first English assignment that I've already completed, but uh, he wanted us to write a letter to our future self. Talk about some things, kind of gave us some questions to answer and I answered them and I basically went along the lines of, well, by taking this class, one, I want to be a better writer, better reader and a better listener because I don't ever write. I hardly read. <laughs> and um, I, I do have selective hearing, I won't lie, so. <laughs> but uh, super important note to take if you're looking at the hood right now, how just nothing is drying up. Um, that is with the Hydro 2 sealant in action, keeping that beating technology there. So that way, by the time that I come at it, was something like a gauntlet. Ooh. It's not gonna be perfect, not gonna be perfect. Remember, my paint is nowhere near perfect, but come out. I still use a Come out, get your, get filter your car anyways. detailed. Or maintenance, we offer maintenance services as well. And uh, support us so that we can continue to grow this thing. Because I want one, the best for y'all to the best that I can possibly do for myself. And of course, double D. Drying, 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 drying. Fun, 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 fun. An extensive process, but arguably the most important. Fun, 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 fun. Yeah, and then also, 
you know. Don't be an idiot. When I say that, that means don't drop your microfiber on the ground and then pick it up and then start drying again. Big no-no. Don't do that. I have seen that plenty of times. I see it. <laughs> Not calling anyone out, but I see it where I work from the detail crew there. And they do an okay job. But uh, I guess at the end of the day, they work with what they have just as, you know, we work with what we have. That uh, That's how it is for everyone. So no shame in the game. Support all detailers. 2023, next year. <laughs> Something like that, right? Uh, now, I already break necks as is. I can't tell you how many times people have stopped me. Bro, is that your car? That's nice. It's all in the little details. And they say that when it's absolutely filthy. And I'm just like, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, but uh, it's nowhere near where I want it to be. Still isn't. Won't be for a long time. But this is a Honda Civic. It'll get you from point A to point B reliably. As long as you don't be an idiot and modify it like I did. The good news for me is I'm a technician. So anything that happens, I get to fix it. And for the most part, I know how to fix it. And if not, that's where I jump in. You got that right. <laughs> Mentor, double D, here to help when need. Troubleshooting. And while I did that, nothing dried means I get to try it all. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it, world. Well, I much rather dry than the sun. You get hard water spots. I will say, you stand afar, and it's like, wow, that's really nice. And then you walk up on it, and you're like, eh, never mind. Uh, we'll walk up close to it. I still don't go, eh, personally. Let's see. I see two-tone red right out. now. That's the crazy thing about... Like God, that's crazy, dude. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I see nothing but fucking two-tone red. Orange and red all over. This GSF, man. Absolutely gnarly. In a good way. In a good way. I want more. I did research on GSF and CarPro Reset, which is another uh, foam soap, you could say. CarPro Reset is used more so for uh, vehicles that um, have... Uh, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong, if you know the answer better than I do. Um, for vehicles that are already coated, um, the coating's a little beat, and uh, let's just say the, the customer, or if you're doing it yourself, you want to redo the ceramic. So, that's what Car Pro Reset is really good for. Let's go ahead and hit everything else before I hit the front bumper. And then I will come back and get the nooks, crannies, cracks, crevices, the tight spots that I love to hide residual water. You hear me heavy breathing? That's because I'm putting in this work, boy. Ugh. I'm a little more comedical than most. My sense of humor, slight to none. <laughs> but as long as I laugh at my own jokes, I'm good. 
picking it all up with the gauntlet. Get yourself one at the rad company. I saw a uh, I saw a post um, through the Obsessed Garage page on Facebook of this guy. Uh, he's talking about um, how he prefers to buy things through Matt from Obsessed Garage over going through, say, the actual brand Active or any product. Basically, he was he was saying, "I much rather buy it from someone who's." talked about it who's knowledgeable on it and uh and uh as, as shown by their their video footage and their efforts that you know it's worth the pickup i 100 percent agree with the guy um you know and then part of it because especially with og um you know they're making all this content and then they have a web page you can go to and buy things from them um very nice, very cool. And, uh, you know, why not support them? You watch their content. They gave you valuable information. Why not support them? Well, then you have those people. That, well, I found it here for cheaper. Who cares? Right? Everybody's different. I respect everyone's decision. I sometimes respect my own decisions. Sometimes I don't. Just depends. Oh man, dude. The way that cleans up too. The uh other than this wet stuff right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not necessarily need to get into that, but the rest, man, looking awesome. We're gonna go ahead and uh Okay. Let it all come down, screw it. Oh wow, I missed quite a bit back here. I presume I don't necessarily need to use the gauntlet anymore. Get away with using a smaller rack, but... Stop tripping. Stop tripping. Having this arrow flap added on here actually just holds <laughs> even more water. Inevitable. Um, Set the camera up there for just a second while I grab the smaller gauntlet towel. Thank you. Out of pure respect. <sighs> As the sun begins to come out, I think it's time to give a helping hand. Appreciate this, sir. Okay, chill out. Hopefully the uh, soap doesn't agitate the double-sided tape too much. I know I had a buddy who is running the same aero flap as I am, except he just has the SI sedan, um, so slightly different, but same company. He's telling me uh, his came off after he washed his car, so either he washed his car with the wrong stuff or the adhesive from uh, from a car use or caroose. You know, I'm gonna be that guy. And I'm gonna say that he applied it wrong and likely didn't prep the surface. And the adhesive failed. Well, I put it on. I'll tell you that right now. Not you, him. Clearly yours is holding up after quite a few watches. No, 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 no. I put his on too. Oh, well. Yes. I put his on too. He had a version two. Mine's a version three, so it's slightly Maybe they updated. Maybe adhesive. <laughs> Maybe they did better adhesive. Exactly. Who knows? I won't put that on you then. Um, Blame yeah, diverted. it comes down to chemicals as well. Chemicals will react to tape in different ways. You never know. Just addressing all these details here. Jeez Louise, what is this? Door jams. Very important. The spool also needs an interior vacuum very badly. 
an interior detail rather. I might not have time for that. Um, okay, you're still back there. Do what? You're still back there. I told myself I was gonna stop using the gauntlet. The big gauntlet. I am here. This is holding plenty of water. I can feel it. That was straight pounds onto that, uh, onto that little piece Goes from a five pound cloth to a 35 pound cloth. Yeah. No, no fingerprints. Stop. Can you unlock it? Sure can, brother. Please, family. How are we looking right here? I noticed you changed the uh, mode to wide angle. Yes. It's gonna change the way we look a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, well, there's only way to go grab another towel and help and show all at the same time. See, one nice thing about this red paint is that it's way easier to see when it's dry and when it's not. I don't know <coughs> how to explain that any better than with my black paint. Sometimes I physically can't tell in the deep, dark crevices whether or not it is dry. I think money glasses. <laughs> Man, I wish that would Might fix be getting the old, problem. brother. I wish that would fix the problem. No, it's uh, the... The red's just so bright. It is the... Um, I'm looking for a specific word here. Fuck. Uh, it is the... Um, what's the word, guys? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I don't know what word you're going for. Maybe you're starting to get old, brother. <laughs> Shake the door a little bit. Try to ring out any. Oh, I did. Shake it. Wow. Any water. Just let me fuck. Sit around. Anyways. Exterior what? I watched the bug go straight in there. Get out. <laughs> He's made himself comfortable. Yep, now it's time to leave. I'm going to hit the. There you are. All right, now that I know that you're out. And as always, water coming from somewhere. All right, super important, can't forget. Last but not least, look how that magic wheel cleaner just did that to my calipers. Or maybe it was the foam, probably the foam. Probably a mix of both, who knows. You okay? <laughs> Let's take the camera and take a quick overview of what we've done here. Take a look at uh, this maintenance wash on this 2019 Civic Si. This is Caleb's personal vehicle. Stunning a few upgrades. It's all in the details when it comes to a vehicle like this. We're gonna steal the camera way out of the way is I saw a water spot that's going to irritate me until the ends of time. So we'll come back with a micro gauntlet and handle this. You'll get to see it firsthand. Slight release right here. May not be too visible on the camera, but it came straight from the wind deflector here. So it's going to handle that, let the towel do its magic, and just like that, voila. Like it never happened, we're gonna go ahead and put the towel back <laughs> and then we'll take a better overview of uh, the spool. Caleb's nickname has evolved over the years and I used to call him Spool when he uh, was completely NA, naturally aspirated, uh, as I knew that was a goal for him uh, when he finally achieved this car. It was a kind of a groundbreaking, game-changing experience. You know, I'm real proud of Spool. He's done some good things, the car and the person, of course, as they both share the same name. 
the car and I are one. Let's, you uh, take me, you take the car. <laughs> can't have the car, can't have me. So the spool may evolve. Not that the vehicle is a transformer, but <clears throat> there may no, be, there there's, may be there's, another vehicle in store for the spool down the line. Absolutely. No, yeah, yeah. This, I mean, this car I don't see ever going anywhere, ever. Um, I think this, we'll is wait for a type my, this is my biggest investment that I have ever made. There is a story that I'd love to get into right now, but I honestly kind of want to save that story for like a podcast. I think that'd be really fun. And anyways, excellent. Gorgeous long story list. short, still with the car here today, no matter how many times I've attempted to make an upgrade um, to a Type R, I really want one. Hey, there, there may be one in the future, and then the spool will become a Type R, but for now the spool is the spool, and it's glory, as you can see it here. Upgrades I just, I have to figure out what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to get rid of this car, dude. I'm really not. I'm going to pay it off and enjoy it and continue to build it. And eventually, once it's paid off and I have, you know, another car, I'll, um, morning. Morning. I'll, uh, where was I going with that? Um, it's a good question. You weren't even paying attention. Got it. <laughs> Um, I was paying attention. I just didn't know where you were going with it. I'm not in your Pay brain. off the spool, keep it, get another car, make, you know, payments on that one. Basically, put this car... Um, th that is when I can officially kind of set the ground for if I really want to, one, track this car, or two, show it off. Either way, no matter which way I go, it is going to cost me an absolutely absurd amount of money. And, uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near ready for that. All good things come with time. Indeed. Oh, nice. Time for a new one. Good thing he makes new ones. Uh, Midnight Legends, for those who don't know, the one and only Dustin Williams, been doing YouTube for a very, very long time, go check him out, love the guy, he is another big inspiration as to why I started taking, one, working on cars so seriously, and two, just enjoying the drive, that's pretty much it. Beautiful. Hey, I didn't realize, um, I was watching a video. Apparently these uh, little uh, uh, holes back here for orifices. To yeah. hold them? Yeah, to hold them. I thought that was pretty Let's neat. show that off. I thought that was pretty neat. If you ever uh, buy an Active 2.0. No way. No, we're coming back. We're good. Recalculating. There we go, to hold off your uh, orifices. Yeah. That's cool, I didn't know that. We appreciate it, nice little detail. Final touch-ups, this car is done. Still looks like ass. The front bumper is completely destroyed. <laughs> Not much I can do about it, but. Just a few rock chips. A lot more than that. You won't see it on camera, though. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not I great. thoroughly enjoyed my first time use of the Active 2.0 pressure washer paired with the Ultimate Package from Obsessed Garage. Um, I'm not a big wand guy. I don't see much purpose for it, especially on smaller cars like this. Um, you know, okay, that is a bug. Um, maybe for larger vehicles. And, uh, yeah. Looks good. Of course, the water is going to continue to freaking run down. Try to clean that up a little bit. But I appreciate you all for once again tuning in. I really do appreciate all of the 
comments and feedback from the last video, which was the first wash and chat um, with none other than uh, Double D detailing, maintenance detailing the S2000. And uh, the end result just looked absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah. I hope this video was enjoyable for y'all. I've got a lot to do today. Editing, schoolwork. Yeah, I, I, I'm living a busy life right now, that's for sure. But all right, I, th I think I'm content at this point. Almost, almost. Voice cracking like no other today, man. Jeez. Again, the detail. Yeah. The gas cap gets love too. Yeah. A little hole right here for water to escape, gas to escape. Very nice. Oh, where does it go? Back into the tank? No. Goes uh down here. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah. Like I said, thank you guys for all the support. Last video, if you find yourself here on this one and have made it to the very end, thank you for sticking through it. I know uh, these are longer videos and I know they take time out of your days. So like I mentioned, if you, uh, you know, take the time to watch this all the way through, uh, I really do appreciate it. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night. Thanks again. Please don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Be sure to check out late night.jp on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Oh yeah, just like that.